Hi, I'm Chilton Webb, and this is Glycon. Glycon is a motion capture platform that uses your VR headset and equipment to perform motion capture for use in movies and games and whatever else takes motion capture files. So, uh, this is Beta 9, version, version 40 Beta 9. It's going out in a few minutes. I'm very happy to report I fixed a number of the weird little bugs that have been plaguing us for years inside Glycon, and now I'm going to show some of that off. So at this point, we have this cool new super calibration system. You can either do it with a headset. If you have the headset on, uh, you can go through the menu. You, you hit the one button. Uh, it's the A button on your left controller, and it pops up your, your HUD. And from here, you can go through the menus, and you can set it all up. Or you can also now use your keyboard. And I'm going to show you how to do that. If you notice, I have a tracker on my head. That is because I am completely wireless right now and just standing here with these trackers. And if you notice, I've got some feet trackers but they're not attached to my feet. So let's change that. So I'm gonna to go to my keyboard and press the letter H for headset calibration. H, boop. And now I'm gonna make a T pose. And there we go. Um, it has figured out where all the trackers need to go for my body. And now my feet should calibrate, should work properly, and I should be able to just basically walk around and dance and what have you. Okay. Now, at this point, after you've done the calibration, you're going to want to recenter the room again. To recenter the room, all you do is you hit the uh, thumb buttons on the index controller or the grips if you have the uh, Vive Wands. Or if you're using an Oculus Rift or Oculus Quest, you're going to use the, uh, I think it's the lower button on both controllers. So we're going to do that now. If you'll notice, I'm going to shrink down a little bit. You hit them both at the same time. It basically stacks all of your body back together. Now. You might have super long arms because you're a monkey. That's fine. You can use the arrow keys, left and right, to change the size of your arms. If you notice, now my arms are shorter. I'm going to do that a little more. Now I've got even shorter arms. See, I can't even reach my controllers. Or I can make them longer. Now I can very easily reach my controllers and my arms bend more. So what you do is you can scale your body using the arrow keys up and down. You can scale your arms using the arrow keys left and right, and now you can scale your legs by using the, um, it's comma and period. On your keyboard, it's the greater than, less than signs, but you're using the comma and period technically. Okay, so we're going to do that. And if you need to reset anything, hit the comma button. So if you're doing the completely wireless setup, you may be wondering, how can I record stuff? Well, it's pretty simple. You hit the space bar to start recording, and when you do that, if you are, and I hit the letter D to switch displays there, uh, if you'll notice up there where it says Glycon3D.com, when I hit the spacebar in just a second, it's going to start recording. Watch this. Spacebar. Three, two, one, boom. Now I'm recording. Anything that I do from this point on is going to be recorded. And when I hit the spacebar again, it says not recording, and my HUD will pop up. That's okay. The HUD doesn't really affect the recording, but it's made to automatically come up at the end of a recording so that you can get back to what you're doing if you're using the headset. Okay, so that recording is now saved, and now I can save that file out uh, as whatever format I had specified in the HUD. You'll have to use the HUD for that part to specify what format. But whatever format you save, it's going to be saved permanently, so the next time you come in, it'll still be there. Well, to save that file out, all I do is hit the letter H. Uh, I'm sorry, S. S for save. And now it has saved my file. Okay, so that's all it takes to do recording inside Glycon. It has now saved out a BVH file to the Glycon files folder, which is found, you can specify where that is in the HUD. And let me see, um, yeah, er okay, so that's it. Uh, everyone's getting a copy of this uh, in a few minutes. Now, here's the deal. I only have a few trackers. I've got a head tracker, I've got a torso tracker I forgot to put on. I've got foot trackers, and I've got hand trackers. I do not have extra elbow trackers and knee trackers, and some of you guys do. So, what I would greatly appreciate is for you to please put on all those trackers, try this sucker out, try this version out, and let me know if everything seems to be working perfectly. Um, but if you have any more suggestions or requests, please contact me, ChiltonWeb at gmail.com. Um, you can go to Glycon3D.com, that is the only place where you can get the current version of Glycon. 
And if you go there, there's also a Discord server. And if you are a member, you can get into the members only section and download this beta. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns or find bugs, etc. Uh, my email address again is chiltonweb at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook. And on the Facebook group, we have a Glycon VR uh, Facebook group. And um, yeah, okay, so that's it. Um, please let me know what you think of this version. I can't wait to see you guys build. You, I, I've gotten some videos from you guys that are amazing. I'm going to add a section to the website that has all the cool new videos you guys have been working on and the games and stuff that, this, that Glycon's been in. I'm, I'm just blown away by the, uh, by the things you guys are doing with it. And so please let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. And I'm going to get this version out right now and then send this video out. Thanks. Have a great day.